What's up gamers? Trav back again. And in this video, we're going to talk about bamboo farms. And it's going to be kind of a continuance of yesterday's video, which discussed flying machines. So make sure you go back and watch that video that explains all about flying machines, because we're going to add to that. That's going to give you a very good foundation for what we're doing now. Because we're going to start talk more about using flying machines with farms, with crop farms. And in this case, bamboo. Okay, so first thing, let's make sure we go over the systems, okay? What do we need to know? Well, bamboo can grow on a lot of things, from grass, dirt, sand, gravel, mycelium, mm. podzel, uh, coarse dirt, red sand. It can grow on a lot of different things. Doesn't need water. Um, and it can grow up to 16 blocks tall. All right, it can, you can use bone meals. You can make a, na a micro farm with it. You can increase its size one or two blocks with bone meal. Um, so let's talk about harvesting it. Okay, so we can plant on any one of these things. I'm going to keep it the pods little here to, you know, follow the jungle theme. So what about using water? Can I use water to harvest? Oh, look at that. I can. Well, when I harvested the bottom block, it all broke. All right, so what about using flying machines? So first thing, let's plant a couple. And let's make them grow a little bit. I said, let's make them grow a little bit. Okay, so these are gonna act like our flying machines. So one flying block, pushing the bottom. Oh. So it does the same thing. If the flying machine goes along the bottom, it's going to break the stem. What about up a block? Can we save that problem? Oh, okay. So if we have our flying machine go at least one block higher, then it's going to break off and leave part of the stem to regrow. So that's good. And here's just something a little bit extra using some of both of these things combined. If I were to have bamboo down here, grow it a little bit. Hit this little button. Oh, I'm using water, but I bring the water up a little higher so I could collect and harvest and still leave a stem. So that's kind of interesting. Hmm. All right, so now let's bring this back to flying machines. So let's kind of figure out what we could do with these. So here's the here's a basic flat uh, flying machine, a two by two flying machine that we talked about yesterday, using observers. See, let's um. Uh, let's keep this block here for now. And let's throw some bamboo down here. Very nice. Yeah, we'll make it grow up a little bit. All right, so let's test this out with this fine machine and see what happens. Huh, okay, so the four by four only does a two wide path, right? Because it's only two wide. So what can we do? make this better. Well, let's look at expanding it. We can build off the sides, can't we? And there we go. Now we're harvesting the whole thing. That's nice. So, with a little bit of rearrangement here, we can make our flying machine work a little bit better for what we're trying to accomplish. First thing, you got to think about where your flying machine is going to park. You don't want to build it right over where you're going to have your, your garden and have it park and, and stop over top of it because then you're just wasting plants. Um, so if we actually build, start with a bar and build a bar across, and the reason I put glass on the end is let's say I have a wall on the edge of this, this farm, I, I don't want slime blocks up against it. So if I put glass on the end of my little bar, build my bar, and then on that bar put a sticky piston with an observer to charge it, Let's have that sticky piston push some slime blocks here with another sticky piston push of that one. So there's that two by two shape right there. As you see, it's just vertical. And then this sticky piston is going to be primed by this observer. All right. And this is just going to be for the return units. We can actually get rid of that for now. So let's take a look at this thing. Let's get something for it to stop on down here. So the thing's too wide. So all, we want it to stop here, right? There 
There we go. A nice, simple harvesting machine. Going back and forth. So how are we going to automate this now? Well, one side could be really simple. We could just have this thing fly over when it's time to harvest and then just come right back and park in one spot. That's usually the simplest way of doing this. So to do that, let's put this back on the top. All right, so we know that this is going to charge every time it moves forward a step. So let's follow this a little ways. All right, so we got that. So how about we just take a piston, sticky non doesn't matter, and put it right there. Now we can get rid of these. So what we're doing is we're using the sticky piston right here. And when that one updates, it's going to hit that observer. So let's just test this out. Fire the back piston. Oh, there it goes. Cool. It looks like we can even move it over a step, right? Oh, breaks everything. Good. All right, so now let's talk about automating this side. Well, we know that in order to send the flying machine that way, we need to update this, uh, we need to energize this back piston by updating this observer. So if we use the same principle here, let's get rid of some of this stuff, and we were to use a, a piston, it would have to be here or above, but here's fine. And then as soon as we energize this piston, the machine goes. Okay, so now let's figure out how we're going to energize this piston. Well... Why don't we use the plants to tell us? So we know these can get up to 16 high. We don't necessarily need to detect them at 16 high because they're, they're still random base. So we can kind of average this out. So let's take some observers and let's go up. Oh, let's pick three nice little spots right here. Yeah, pretty central. And let's go up uh, like 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Actually, let's go up ten, and let's see how this looks. All right, so we get the idea. Let's put observers now up here, and I like to put multiples for redundancy, because you know the plants do grow randomly. So you know some might grow super fast, some might grow super low, some might uh, might not set off those observers. And then as the re so therefore we have a little bit of redundancy here. And what we could do with this is just run this power out. So we're going to go along like this. And with that there, let's go ahead and just kind of continue this. So we can at least come up with an idea of what we're going to do. So we know we got to energize this one. So let's bring a line up from there. And just kind of connect it to you to give us a good idea of where the power is going to go. All right, so hmm, think about how we're going to energize this. All right, one easy way to send a signal down is just to push an energy block into position that we need. All right, so like what I mean by that is if we were to push this, put a block here, when this block moves or updates, it's going to update that. So when this gets extended and retracted. It's going to update and send the uh, flying machine on its way. So let's just keep that there. And that's fine if this if that piston stays quasi-powered. That's fine. But all it needs to do is update that. So now, to send this down, let's have a little piston up here. Now we got to connect them with slime blocks, right? Because if we use normal blocks, it's just going to push it and leave it there. It's not going to bring it back. That means since it's slime blocks, we can't have these here. So now what we need to do is power this piston. Well, I mean, you could use dust, but, you know, every piece of dust is a little bit laggy. So let's try to avoid dust if we can. So let's see what we could do with rails. First, if we just put rails across here, we're not going to be able to go, you know, over this angle. So what happens if we use an observer? Like that. Oh, we ran into a problem, right? Because the observer is only sending one pulse and it's pushing it down, but it's not bringing it up. That's not exactly what we want to do. So let's come up with a better way of doing this. Well, 
what if we were to move the observer here and then we were to run a repeater out of it and go around the corner like this so now let's see what happens first let's get that back up there now let's watch that piston update pushes pulls it back oh that's easy enough now anytime one of these are triggered by a plant growing she goes back and forth huh that's simple enough and the nice thing about this is you can pretty much infinitely expand this however big you want just by adjusting the size of your floor but one thing to keep in mind bamboo to grow needs a light source level of nine which is pretty high so if you find that your plants in the center aren't growing um, it's, it, it's most likely a light issue so when we're designing this let's uh let's come up with some lights here i like these glowstone lights i think they look pretty nice uh for gardens they look natural so let's uh get some lights here and let's bring them around the back And then what I would also do is just put another layer up here. Yep. So let me uh, let me work on this for a little bit, and we'll come back. Okay, so I've just done a little bit of work here. Got some walls in. Now you don't have to build your farm this tall. You know you can make it four tall if you want. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of up to you. Um, you know the taller you make it, the longer it's going to take to grow, and then the less frequently the flying machine is going to have to run so the better the, st the overall stability of the server is going to be you know so that's the nice thing about it if you want to make it shorter like mine's a little bit shorter than this because uh i have it right next to a double layer cactus farm and i wanted it to match the height so all you do is just lower these observers down and bring this all down so just get rid of these slime blocks as you move it down and you can do that just fine. But what I want to talk about is the end here. Okay, so we need to seal this up the best we can because the flying machine is going to knock around the bamboo as it flies across. So let's see how well we can seal this up. The easiest way to do it is just put some kind of uh, non-movable block, you know, down here at the bottom to where you got to remember wherever the stickies, uh, the slime blocks are going to fly, you got to have an immovable block there. And then what we could do is just kind of seal this all the way around here the best we can you know just just kind of look take a look at yours how you build it and then uh, just kind of go from there so we'll seal this all up and uh, you know if you want we could even go and do something as 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 you know we could even do this we don't we can't put a block there right but we can put a block here so we could do that we could do this we could cover that up put that on there and then we could just start kind of sealing this thing up just remember if it's touching a slime block make it immovable because if i take a look at this that's going to be able to fly through there those blocks and it's only t and it's touching immovable and the bottom's going to be able to fly across just fine. And the stickies and the slime blocks aren't picking up anything new. Okay? So then I can kind of just seal this up. Okay, so for this side, what I want to do is, is shut this thing off. Uh, so we're just going to have the thing fly up against here and get rid of that piston. So let's go start the machine up. And let's up this there. Now let's take a look down here to what we need to do. Oh, put those in the wrong spot. That's my fault. Let me send it back. Right here, you see how far I can throw bamboo? Okay, now let's send it again. Okay, first thing, let's take care of slime. So down here at the bottom, we need to cover that up. Let's put one here. Let's just see if we can kind of fill this slice in. Now, we don't want to put one here in front of that observer. Uh, this piston's going to go right back here. Uh, so this could be glass or 
you know, whatever building block you want. Like that. You can't put anything on these two because those are going to push over. But we can kind of just start filling the gaps here. So the only way, oh, and up here at the top, that's going to have to be that, right? Because that slime block's going to fly underneath. So the only way to prevent any loss is you're going to have to also kind of come around to the back here and do something like this. There. You know, and it kind of fill in whatever you want, you know. If you really want to cocoon it in, you can. But it's just, you know, it's just not necessary. Even if it blows a couple out, it's it's fine. You're going to have so much bamboo, even your Minecraft girlfriend's going to be impressed with you. So, let me seal this up. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So now all we need is a little collection system. Uh, so what I've done here is just go underneath go underneath the floor of the farm and I like to add a you know an extra block on either side and then a block or two at the end for extras and build yourself something like this so that way we, you can uh, you know run hopper mine carts in here and the hopper mine carts will pull items through uh, one block so the block above us which is the uh, which is the floor of the farm and it'll run back and forth and back and forth just like that. You only need one, you know. You got it's a, what a five minute despawn, so you only need one one hot mine cart. No need to make this more difficult than it needs to be. Just use one. In fact, if you have another farm next to it, you could share. It's fine. Uh, and then, uh, so now all we need to do is we need to come up with our unloader, and I'll just go ahead and put that on the back here, and we'll come right back, and you can see it when it's all done. All right, guys, we're back. So I added a little uh, minecart unloader here so if we were to go down here and take a look there's our minecart coming around and it's just doing a loop it does its loop and it uh, comes up here and smashes into this wall and unloads everything into the uh, dropper which is, has a little detector on it and spits everything out now I'm not gonna go into too much detail on how to build this I will link in the comment section my video that shows step by step how to make this unloader all right, so let's take a look at this thing in action. I added just a little bit of a glass roof, just to, you know, keep it looking nice. Uh, extended the rail out just a couple blocks to pick up whatever might be thrown. These are growing pretty well, uh, but we're going to go ahead and set this off. It, you know, the, uh, it, would, it would get a little bit more than we're about to get, but I, I'm not going to wait too long for this. So let's go ahead and get these. Yeah, set off the observer. Let's come out. There we go. Minecart down there should be uh, gathering extra. I think I throw another minecart on. There we go. That's gonna go gather everything up just like that. Bring it all back here, and you should see it all come right to this chest. How much he was able to get? Oh my goodness! Yeah, look at that. Let's see, I mean, you're gonna have so much bamboo. It's it, you can't even be able to shake a stick at it. Um, so. You know, go with something like this. You can have it empty in the chest. You could use a shulker loader, just kind of like you saw on my Witch Farm Stores uh, Let's Play episode. I built that. But either way, guys, it's simple. Um, I hope you guys understand the concept here. Just using the flying machine that we discussed yesterday in the video and adding that to a uh, to a farm, just by making it going back and forth. Sending it back is always easy with just updating observers. And then at the end, just using observers here to kind of, you know, to go off the growth of the plant and then to send the signal to update this observer. And one other thing you could do is throw a little lever on this uh, piston. So whenever you're going to leave the area and you don't want the flying machine to travel back and forth so it doesn't break down when you're unloading this chunks, you can flip that on and leave that piston extended so you can leave the area safely. Okay, like if you're going through a portal or just flying away. All right, and with that, guys... That's all there is to it. A simple bamboo farm using a flying machine that's going to get you just an un, 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 ungodly amount of bamboo. Uh, and you can expand it and extend it to whatever size you want. Okay? So with that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. This is Trav. Over.